You may be low. You may be low. You may be rich. You may be poor. You may be poor. Oh, that's so good. You are listening to Damien Sneed, who is a multi-talented music artist. He's a pianist, an organist, a vocalist, a conductor, a composer, a producer, and so much more. I was lucky enough to talk to him about his upcoming concert with the Washington Performing Arts. Damien, welcome to Great Day Washington. I know you're familiar with this area, though. What is your connection to the DMV? I love the DC area, the DMV, yeah. uh, because I was a student in that area for my undergraduate studies at Howard University. So I just love the area. I never thought I would leave DC, but maybe I'll come back there and live in the future. You are always welcome. Anytime you want to come back for sure. Um, I know your music background, it, is, it has varied, right? In the past, where, um, where have you all been? Uh, my musical background, even at Howard University as a classical solo piano uh, performance major, uh, working also with the Howard University Jazz Ensemble. Uh, I've had an opportunity to work with some of the top musicians in classical music. Uh, my mentor, uh, Jesse Norman, who graduated from Howard University, who's from my hometown, Augusta, Georgia. Also, my mentor, Wynton Marsalis. I had an opportunity to come to the D.C. area uh, on tour with my choral group, Corrala Chateau, for his Abyssinian Mass that I conducted. Uh, I was the music director for Sunday Best years and years ago, uh, season four, I believe, uh, on BET. Uh, I've worked with another mentor of mine who lives in the D.C. area, uh, who also is a Howard University graduate, Richard Smallwood. Uh, so I've been uh, fortunate wow. enough to work with so many different artists, Aretha Franklin, uh, Diana Ross, whether it would be singing background or playing Hammond organ or playing piano or composing an opera like my opera, The Tongue and the Lash, about uh, James Baldwin's debate with William Buckley, which will premiere on June 10th, uh, commissioned by Opera Theater St. Louis. I feel like the stories you could tell. We could be together for a week and you'd still be telling great stories. Um, I know you have a new series coming up. This is part of the Washington Performing Arts. Is it called Home Delivery Plus? Is that right? It's a new initiative that they've started uh, during the pandemic, the COVID pandemic, where uh, people have an opportunity to have music and have uh, artists like myself come directly into their home, uh, you know, maybe on their sofa or at the kitchen table on their iPads or their computers or their cell phones. And I'm so honored uh, to be able to celebrate the release of my newest project called Damien Seed Unplugged uh, at the same time today, at the same time as Home Delivery Plus with a special guest of mine, Tasha Page Lockhart, who won Sunday Best as well. Wow. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh, you have so much going on. What, what is Unplugged about? about? It's, it's a new album for you, right? Yes, it's a new album, but it's like a reunion of sorts. Mm -hmm. I pulled uh, some of my friends together during the pandemic in August, and we were actually making a recording for a blues festival. And uh, I just said, hey, let's just do some old songs. The musicians did not know the music. We did not have time to rehearse. Uh, those uh, singers did not have a chance to really study the background parts. Uh, because it's something I did impromptu. And what uh, what was birthed out of that moment is absolutely just mind blowing. So I decided to work on it a little bit and release it as a project uh, wow. in line with this uh, home delivery plus that's available today uh, for a couple more days as well. People can still go online and watch it on demand, but it's amazing. The word unplug basically means, uh, you know, we didn't try to add a lot of, uh, mm technological accoutrements and extra uh, industry standard, uh, you know, trimmings uh, to the music. It's just raw. It's just right there as it was during that recording session back in August. So I'm excited about it. I think the songs are very inspirational. And for some of my fans, there'll be songs they remember. And for yeah. new people who are just getting to know me, I think, and I'm pretty uh, solid that the music uh, will definitely be inspirational to them. We're going through so much during this time. Yes. And I think music as a universal language is something that can reach everyone. Absolutely. We need it for that healing, especially. Damien, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm so honored to be here. Thank you so much for having me.